Tammy Terrell is an American singer-songwriter who rose to prominence in the 1960s as a star singer for Motown Records, particularly for her string of duets with Marvin Gaye. Tammy Terrell, a teenage singing sensation, began her career at Scepter Wand Records. She then spent nine months as a member of James Brown's Review, recording for his Trimie label. After attending college, Terrell recorded briefly for Checker Records before signing with Motown in 1965. With Marvin Gaye, she scored seven top 40 singles on the Billboard Hot 100, including the Grammy Hall of Fame inductee Ain't No Mountain High Enough, as well as Ain't Nothing Like the Real Thing and You're All I Need to Get By. Tammy Terrell's net worth at the time of her death was estimated to be between $1 million and $5 million, a considerable sum for 1970 when the average annual income in the U.S. was about $9,400. Her net worth came mainly from record sales, royalties, and performances with Motown Records and other labels, as well as personal assets such as a house in Philadelphia and a Cadillac car. Terrell's net worth could have been much higher if she had not been exploited by some of her managers and producers, who took advantage of her lack of financial knowledge and legal representation. For example, James Brown, who signed her to his label in 1963, allegedly paid her only $100 per week and withheld her royalties. She also had to deal with medical expenses and lawsuits related to her illness and personal life. Her ex-husband Ernie Terrell sued her for divorce and alimony, and David Ruffin, who claimed to be her fiancé, sued her for breach of promise. Terrell's net worth was not enough to cover all these costs, and she died in debt. Tammy Terrell and Marvin Gaye received a nomination for Best Rhythm and Blues Group Performance, vocal or instrumental at the 10th Annual Grammy Awards in 1968 for their song Ain't No Mountain High Enough. The song was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 1999. Early Life Thomasina Winifred Montgomery was born in Philadelphia to Jenny Graham and Thomas Montgomery. Jenny was an actress, and Thomas was a barbershop owner and local politician. Montgomery's mother suffered from mental illness. Tammy Terrell was the older of two siblings. Her sister Ludie said in the documentary Unsung that their parents thought Terrell would be a boy and therefore named her after her father. However, when she was born, they settled on the name Thomasina, nicknaming her Tommy. At the age of 12, she changed her name to Tammy after seeing the film Tammy and The Bachelor and hearing its theme song. Ludie's book My Sister Tommy, the real Tammy Terrell reveals that Terrell suffered a horrific ordeal when she was 11 years old. She was sexually assaulted by three boys, which traumatized her deeply. She also began to experience migraine headaches around that time, which her family later suspected might have been an early sign of her brain cancer. Terrell went to Germantown High School in Philadelphia. Personal Life Tammy Terrell, a 17-year-old singer, began an abusive relationship with James Brown in 1962. Brown was 12 years older than Terrell. One night in 1963, while on tour, Terrell left Brown after he assaulted her for not watching his entire performance. Bobby Bennett, a former member of Brown's group, the Famous Flames, witnessed the incident. He said that Brown beat Tammy Terrell terribly. She was bleeding, shedding blood. Tammy left him because she didn't want her, but whipped. In 1966, Tammy Terrell began a passionate romance with David Ruffin, the lead singer of The Temptations. Terrell accepted Ruffin's surprise marriage proposal that same year. However, during an onstage performance together, Terrell discovered that Ruffin was already married with a wife, three children, and another girlfriend in Detroit. This revelation, combined with Ruffin's drug addiction, led to frequent and violent arguments. In 1969, Terrell told Ebony Magazine that she believed the emotional stress of this relationship was a contributing factor to her headaches which would come after quarrels. In 1967, Terrell ended the relationship after Ruffin hit her in the head with his motorcycle helmet. There were also rumors that Ruffin had hit Terrell in the head with a hammer, which further complicated her unknown condition. However, this rumor was debunked in Terrell's unsung episode. At the time of her death, Tammy Terrell was engaged to Dr. Ernest Ernie Garrett, a doctor at the hospital where she had been treated. About Tammy Terrell's professional career, in 1960, Tammy Terrell was discovered by Luther Dixon and signed to the Juan subsidiary of Scepter Records, where she recorded the ballad, If You See Bill, 
under the name Tammy Montgomery and did demos for the Shirelles. After another single, she left Scepter and signed with James Brown, singing backup for his review concert tours. In 1961, Terrell formed the group The Sherrys but was kicked out in late 1962 due to disputes. The Sherrys continued without her, and in 1963, Terrell recorded the song I Cried on Brown's Trimy Records. It became her first charting single, reaching number 99 on the Billboard Hot 100. After a brief retirement, Tammy Terrell signed with Motown Records in 1965. Her early hits included I Can't Believe You Love Me and Come On and See Me. In 1966, she recorded two future classics, All I Do Is Think About You and This Old Heart of Mine Is Weak For You. Tammy's Success with Marvin Gaye Motown paired Tammy Terrell with Marvin Gaye in early 1967. Their first duet, Ain't No Mountain High Enough, was recorded separately but Motown remixed the vocals to give Gay and Terrell equal prominence. Tammy Terrell and Marvin Gaye's Ain't No Mountain High Enough was a crossover hit in 1967, followed by two other top 10 singles, Your Precious Love and If I Could Build My Whole World Around You. Gay would later cite Ain't No Mountain High Enough as one of Tammy's favorites. All four songs were included on Gay and Terrell's first duet album, United released in the late summer of 1967. Throughout that year, Gay and Terrell began performing together and Terrell became a vocal and performance inspiration for the shy and laid-back Gay, who hated live performing. The duo also performed together on television shows to their hits. They were voted the number one R&B duo in Cashbox Magazine's annual year-end survey in 1970. Cancer Diagnosis Tammy Terrell's childhood migraines and headaches worsened as she rose to stardom. On October 14, 1967, she collapsed on stage while performing with Marvin Gaye. Doctors diagnosed a malignant brain tumor, and she underwent surgery on January 13, 1968. After surgery, Tammy Terrell returned to the studio and recorded, You're All I Need to Get By, and Ain't Nothing Like the Real Thing, both of which reached number one on the R&B charts. Her tumor worsened, requiring more surgeries, and she retired from live performances in 1969. Motown released her first and only solo album, Irresistible, in early 1969, but Terrell was too ill to promote it. There are conflicting reports about how Tammy Terrell and Marvin Gaye's third album, Easy, was recorded. According to some, Terrell was too ill to sing, and Valerie Simpson sang her parts. Others say that Terrell recorded her parts, but Simpson sang guide vocals first. The album produced the singles Good Love and Ain't Easy to Come By, What You Gave Me, California Soul, and The Onion Song. In late 1969, Terrell made her final public appearance at the Apollo Theater, where she sang You're All I Need to Get By with Gay. Illness and Death Tammy Terrell's brain cancer worsened in early 1970, and she died on March 16 at the age of 24. Her funeral was held in Philadelphia, with Marvin Gaye delivering a eulogy. Terrell's mother barred everyone at Motown from the funeral except for Gaye, who she felt was her daughter's closest friend. Gaye reportedly never fully got over Terrell's death, and his classic album What's Going On was in part a reaction to it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and click on the bell notification for more.